Hey guys, I recently replaced the rear brakes, their drum brakes in uh, Army. It's a 73 Sportsmobile, it's my personal vehicle. And uh, found that the parking brake arms, like the levers that actuate and pull the, the um, shoe against the brake drum, uh, were missing completely. And um, the parking brakes never worked, obviously. But uh, found that... Um, the cables and everything else were totally deteriorated and uh, just parts were missing. So decided um, I'd try out a line lock. Um, it's probably frowned upon to use the hydraulic system as your parking brake. But uh, what I have been using is just put, putting it in park and relying on the uh, parking brake pull in the transmission. Uh, and that, I, I just hate doing that. I don't want to do that anymore. And uh, figured, hey, I may as well experiment with it. Um, so I can't recommend doing this at all. <laughs> and uh, this is just my journey through it. And if it doesn't work, then okay, I'll just uh, put in some, I'll try and source new cables and do all that stuff. But um, I thought, hey, may as well try it out. Should be fun, little interesting experiment. Follow along. So I'm thinking down by the brake reservoir will be a good spot for the line lock. Going to drill, so put a cap on that guy and a cap there. got some stiff wire and I'm going to make a little template before I bend the brake line. There we go, that'll get us pretty close. Here's the general path. It'll get tweaked a little bit. Uh, looking pretty good. There we go. Have the bubble flare for the VW side and the uh, inverted double flare on the line lock side. Let's get it installed. So I have it temporarily snug down and sitting in here. I flipped it because the angles were a lot better this way. Now I'll take the stiff wire, make another template, and then bend some brake line. There we go, tubing is bent, VW side is on, and the line lock side is on. And the output side is installed. So the entire lower side is installed. Here we go, line lock is mounted to the seat support there. And the way you operate it is you just press on the brake, press down on the button, let off the brake, and we are now engaged. So I'm gonna put it to the test here. So here we are on this pretty gnarly little hill. It's just like a dirt hill in the construction area and uh, it's a pretty good incline and we are locked in place and we are in neutral and line lock is engaged it's working out pretty well we'll see how it works in the long run after days in a situation like this I'm trying to figure out how to perform that experiment but for now 
That's better than relying on the parking brake pawl, which I've been doing forever. The way to disengage is you simply press on the brake and you see it pop open. So there are the tracks. You can see pretty, pretty nice little incline, just a little tester hill. I've had the line lock installed for a few weeks now and here are some observations. Um, it works great. But here's the deal, I've never parked it for more than a day and a half, two days. So uh, she's my daily driver. So it works perfect for that scenario. However, if I was gonna park it on a really big slope with, uh, you know, leaving for a week or so, um, I would probably still put it in park and rely on that parking pole. Perhaps a wheel chuck, I don't know. I'm probably gonna do that when I uh, have the opportunity to leave her sitting for, you know, a week or so. But for now, I would have to say that it works for me perfectly. However, don't do this because your car will explode. So <laughs> we'll see you next time.